what's going on, everybody? I set up that card show on Saturday. As most of you know, I did pick up uh, one or two things while I was out there. Well, one was in a trade, but it's already uh, pushed out for sale. But I didn't get a chance to get too much footage of everything out there. As soon as I got in there and got set up, like the people just started coming through. And every time I'd leave my table, uh, because there'd be like a gap, it was like people started going back to the table. So I tried to get as much footage as I could from there. Uh, you guys will see some of it here very shortly in the video. Uh, most of it was vintage. Uh, a couple of the other dealers that I normally know I went by was uh, grabbing some footage of their cards and that. Yeah, it was about 35 dealers, probably about 50 tables total. There was a lot of retail and low end there, so I didn't really bother uh, hitting those tables up because I was trying to get as much footage as I could in the time that I pretty much had there. And by the time I was wrapping up, it was like 1 in the afternoon. I wanted to hurry up and get back home. But overall, it was a good show. Um, trade between me and 502 Frank. Uh, there was He gave me a Zion Hoops out of 199 silver and some uh, money in for the uh, Lou Bob Topps Chrome Black out of 99 that I had pulled. So you'll probably see that on his channel, so I didn't want to really throw it out onto here because I know a lot of you guys watch both channels. It was also nice to meet a lot of people uh, from YouTube at the card show, so I do appreciate you guys stopping by, saying hello, and talking and everything. You guys got to see the microscope and stuff. I think that was probably one of the uh, big attractions for a lot of people coming around, getting to see how the microscope actually uh, looked and actually is used and stuff. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut to about, I don't know, about five, six minutes worth of video clips. It might be even shorter than that, to be honest. Of some of the tables, and I'll show you what I picked up. What's up, guys? I already sold out almost all my Pokemon, so you guys don't get to see that. You guys know the display. Making mistakes too, you know, trial and error. Absolutely. Get you guys some more footage here shortly. Yeah, with that there and being under the state building, they raised prices to like four times the amount. Oh, yeah, they're trying to make some of the money back they lost during the offseason. Well, they just did renovations so, down there. Tell him. <laughs> he said he's on his way, he's got off work. Uh, Anyway, look at this. Mm -hmm. 
All right, everybody. So the guy to my left was the guy that had all the vintage there that you see probably the longer uh, piece to. He was really reasonable in prices. Basically, he was going off of like eBay solds and then dropping them down. So like a $150 card could have been $100, $120 on to it. I was trying to grab a Nolan Ryan rookie from him, but I think the highest grade he had was a three. Two and a half or three. I can't remember offhand. There was a lot of like PSA 9s out there. I didn't see no uh, HGA slabs. I did see some GMA. Uh, a few SGC was out there. Of course, a lot of Beckett and PSA. Uh, Wax-wise, I mean, my Pokemon, when you guys seen that, when I finally got to my town, I literally set up somebody came over and bought all my Pokemon, minus those uh, ETBs that you guys seen that were out in front there. I had... These booster back po or booster pack boxes and some I don't know what they were something pin tins or something I don't know uh, they were like full displays and they just got bought up really quick out there moved a few bigger cards um, I will say a lot of people you know were looking to have big deals cut on the stuff that you can move very quickly at you know at the price that I was at already. But did make a few deals out there with some people that uh, repeat customers and that, uh, just so I didn't have to pay for shipping and insurance. So it always goes that way. So one thing I did pick up early, and it was right before I was taping, so I walked in and a guy I met that used to set up my shows had this. 92-93 Basketball Series 1 and 2. This has a Shaq rookie and you get 12 gold cards. If Shaq is in this, money, money, money. Just kidding. But no, it's worth a good bit if it grades out offhand. I think I paid seventy bucks for this. They're going for like a buck twenty. I wanted to buy. He had a Steven or Steven. Oh wow, Steph Curry, uh, tops rookie. He wanted three fifty on, and just by eyeballing and looking at it, I was pretty sure it was going to be a ten. So at that time frame, I had to run it back over to my table because I had people there. But I wanted to grab this off it before anybody else grabbed it up for that price. Uh, he had some, like, 86, 87 Fleer cards, all but the Jordans. Different shapes all around and stuff, and I was going to grab a couple of those, but I knew that stuff was all going to go real quick. But, so, you know, it's the name of the game, so I might head down to Lexington this weekend, um, do a little walk around, grab some uh, videotape down there and stuff. If I do go down there, I'm going to take a look and think about it, but I, I may pop in there this weekend. Uh, for a show that they got going on. And plus, if I get there early enough, I don't have to be running back and forth to my table, and I'll be able to get some better video content for everybody. But I am going to be opening this up on another video. Uh, hopefully the Shaq Gold's in there, but I'm looking to grade the cards out of it, basically the Jordan, Shaq, and stuff like that, just to have for my own probably personal self, unless they're like really, really bad off. But it's a big gamble, like I said, because the top skull cards, you don't know who's going to be in there. Could it be Jordan? Could it be Shaq? All right, guys. Again, thank you. I just got done a little while ago with about, I think we have about two hours of footage with BST, uh, Jeremy from BST Sports Card. So that video is going to come out Saturday. If you guys got the time to spend about two hours, he goes through the website, and then we had a ton of questions for him, which he explained in great detail. The site's actually on schedule to launch next Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And if I'm wrong, I know Jeremy will put in the comments, and I'll just pin it up top of everything. But looking forward to having a site without fees. And just pay attention. He's not charging fees. He's charging a membership. But you're still going to have to pay for the, the processing of the payment, which I had it wrote down. I think it's 2.75%. And you get to choose bank account, PayPal, and I'm pretty sure the way he was understanding was uh, you're not going to get double tapped with a PayPal fee on top of it. But more on to that once I find out about it. Uh, but be able to look out for that video Saturday and Sunday. You guys could start checking out his website. It's going to be a brand new marketplace platform out there. It's going to be really good for sellers. He's vetting the sellers onto it, which is really good. 
almost like you would have to go into an auction house and be vetted before you could uh, sell and bid on at the auction houses. So, but be on the lookout for that video. It's about two hours long, roughly. Uh, you might be able to hit through some of this stuff onto it, but we hit a lot of the questions up about the process, and a lot of it does talk to because we had uh, me and somebody else that were breakers on there, and other people been in breaks, and a lot of people were at shows, so I had to basically have them on a phone. I don't know what the app was they put me on, and they were all listening in, so I was muted out of it for a while, but. Yeah, it's pretty good content overall. A lot you guys will hear and learn about the website, and hopefully you guys will become part of it and be like uh, a lot of people. We're going to be ditching eBay completely with the 13% fees. That's just outrageous. All right, everybody. Hope you guys have a good week, and I will catch you throughout the week. Remember, Friday night I'll come live with those Heritage boxes. Talk to you all later.